is up guys little dog dog here today I'm bringing you a guide for the quest devious minds uh, this is a fairly quick fairly easy quest so let's just get right into it uh, so there are some quest requirements for this quest those are the quest wanted and all the prerequisite quests what's mine is yours troll so stronghold and all the prerequisite quests as long as you need to have completed the abyss mini quest because you have to go through the abyss to get to entrana during the course of this quest as for skill requirements, you're going to need to have 50 rune crafting. This is not boostable. As well as 50 fletching and 65 smithing. These are both boostable. So if you're almost there, don't worry about it. You can boost to get these skills up when you need to use them, and you'll be alright. As for items you're going to need, you're going to want uh, one mithril two-handed sword, a bowstring, and a large pouch. Make sure that large pouch is fully repaired, as if it's not, it will not work. If you examine it or it doesn't say degraded, then you're all good. And finally, some items that will make this fast quest even faster are an invitation box for a quick teleport right outside Paterdomus and an energy potion just in case you run out of uh, run energy at any point during the quest. To begin this quest, you're going to speak to the monk wandering the area in the red there outside Paterdomus, which is the temple on the river south. So speak to the monk standing outside the temple. He'll ask you if you can do anything for him and choose the first option. Sure thing, what do you need? He's going to tell you that he needs a bow sword, a new type of weapon. Um, so that he can have ranged and melee attacks, I guess. So you're going to want to head to Doric's place. The fast way to get here is a Falador home teleport. So open your home teleports, click Falador, and from there you're just going to go north. Kind of northwest, but it's north either way, until you get to Doric's place. When you get there, you're going to want to use that Mithril 2H sword on the whetstone outside of his uh, outside of his house. You can see it's located right here. I'm about to use the sword on it. It's called Doric's Whetstone. You'll grind the sword down into a flexible blade, and then use the bowstring on that, and you'll have your bow sword. Now you're going to want to head back to the monk. If you have the invitation box, just click it twice. You'll be right outside the temple, but um, because you're all not going to have that, I'm going to home teleport to Canifis and walk there, as that's the best route you guys are going to have. So from the Canifis Lodestone, you're going to go west to the temple, and then through the basement of the temple. Once you're out, you're going to want to speak to the monk once again. And when you do, you're going to choose the first chat option. Yeah, got it right here for you. Now it's at this point, he's going to ask you for one more favor. He wants you to take an orb and put it in a large pouch and take it to Entrana for him. However, because it could be flagged as a weapon, you have to go through the abyss to get it there. Now, you do have to go through the wilderness for this part, so... Um, I'm just warning you. So you're going to use the orb on your large pouch. And then you're going to want to home teleport to Edgeville at this point. And from Edgeville, bank all your items and make your way to the abyss located there. You are going to want to bank any combat equipment you have on you, as it won't be allowed on Entrana you will be able to sneak the orb in. So head to the bank and just get rid of any combat equipment you have on. But make sure you keep that orb in your inventory. Once you've banked all your combat equipment and any weapons or anything like that, you're gonna jump over the wilderness wall.
and at the end of the river there, you're going to speak to the guy. You're going to have to talk to him. You can just right-click on him, the guy in the Zami robes, and click teleport, and you'll be taken to the abyss. Now, once you're in the abyss, you have to make your way into the center column. You can squeeze through gaps, chop trees, or distract some eyes to get through. Um, if you have a high level in one of those skills, agility, thieving, or woodcutting, you're going to want to find that one. But once you're through, you need to go into the law rift, which is on the east side of the center. And then once you're into the law rune, uh, the law altar, you're going to exit through the portal. Now you're going to be on Entrana. You're going to want to make your way to the church. And once you're in the church, use the large pouch on the altar. This is going to trigger a cutscene in which you see the monks bringing a relic into the church. An assassin appearing from the orb in, on the altar, killing all three monks and almost killing the high priest. He teleports away with the relic. And the high priest asks, like, how the hell did that happen? Your character explains it was your fault, and he wants you to make it right, but he forgives you. So he wants you to go back to the monk who gave you the orb and find out what happened. So now you have to go back to Canifus, or uh, use that invitation box twice to go talk to the monk once more. the same round as you took the first time just through the basement of Pater Domus. Once you climb up the ladder out of the basement, you're going to see that there's a dead monk on the ground. Just go click on the dead monk. It'll say he's killed by magic, and then you're going to want to home teleport to Port Serum to head back to Entrana. Once again, make sure you have no weapons or anything on you, or else you won't be allowed on Entrana. And then from the uh, Port Serum Lodestone, just go northeast on the docks, and you'll find the Entrana monks who can take you to Entrana. Their left-click option is just to travel, so you shouldn't have to right-click on them or anything. If you're good, you'll be taken to Entrana and put on the docks. Now go back and talk to the High Priest once more. tell him that the monk was dead he was killed by some sort of magic and the high priest tells you you should go speak to certification now certification is located in the Faldor park so just home teleport to Faldor and southeast from the lodestone you're gonna find certification sitting on a bench When you speak to him, <clears throat> you might not have the same chat option as I do, excuse me, but you want to choose the option about Devious Minds, it could be the second chat option for you. It might not be depending on where you are in quests related to certification. 
He'll tell you he already knows about the relic, and you relay to him everything that happened up until then and how it happened. So just continue to click through the dialogue. And once the dialogue is complete, that is also going to be quest complete. So if this helped you, be sure to leave a like. Comment down below if you have any questions, uh, comments, complaints, or suggestions. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you're bored, check out some of my other stuff. I do boss guides, quest guides, and event guides. Thanks.